What's going on? And you run a daily YouTube channel. What's up, Daily Crew? Mm -hmm. And a singing YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Me and Chris were cast together on a MTV show, but but <laughs> as most things in the industry. <laughs> So I want to talk to you about sex because we always have super interesting, super interesting sex conversations. conversations. About sex. Yeah. You're one of the few guys that I know who I actually have not had sex with. <laughs> that didn't come out right. <laughs> You're one of the few guys on earth that I've I never had, had sex, sex with. with. I'm like, You're damn, one of the okay. Few people on earth that I haven't had sex with that I would vouch is probably fantastic. I, I didn't lose my virginity till I was almost out of high school, but when I was in college. Oh, it's on a music dorm floor. So this is literally the this one time at band camp story. It really is. It, there was a lesbian girl on my floor, and she was she was like kind of kind of butch a little bit, but like feminine too. Those are called stems. Stems. Yeah, because there's it's a stud, which is the masculine lesbian, and a femme, which is the feminine one. Stem. Stem. Oh. I walked in and I was like, "Yo, teach me." She's like, "You're not trying to like hook up." I was like, "No." Nope. This is purely educational. She's like, okay, close the door. She takes her pants off. And it was like, first you gotta learn what parts are what. You know, you learn the anatomy. This is, the, this is roughly where the clit is. It's gonna be hiding under that little hood right yes. there. Or whatever. Um, and then when you, when you go into the vagina, just that spongy feeling that you got up there, that's where the G-spot is. But not every woman has a G-spot, and I'm sorry for some of you who don't, but there's other ways. Because most women orgasm clitorally, so the G-spot orgasm is just kind of like a bonus if you get it. One of the most important things to men is, is our competency, like our ability to be able to handle things on our own. So I think a lot of the problem with men when it comes to sexual experiences is they're not humble enough to admit that they don't know what they're doing. So they don't learn. So if you can get past that and just open up to the idea that you don't know everything, there's always more that you can learn, and at the end of that experience, you will be a better lover for it, just ask questions. Okay? Give me the top three mistakes that men make in the bedroom. Okay, foreplay is number one. Don't skip foreplay. I think we just ended the list right there. That's it. <laughs> That's the list. The main body part that men forget in the bedroom is the woman's mind. Um, because the woman's mind unlocks everything else. When you think about foreplay, don't only think about touching, touching her body, thinking about getting her mind in the right place because the main component to any woman being able to orgasm is where her mind is at that point in time. Focusing too much on the same area for too long of an amount of time. It's just kind of like if you rub like this on your arm, after a while, it's not gonna feel good, it's gonna hurt. I would debate that. I mean, that's, it's the same, I guess, for you as well, too. Like when you uh, self-pleasure, you pretty much, you're not down there like casting a spell. You're not like doing 50 things. You probably have a motion that you do right. that gets you there. But so I can I, get there in 30 seconds. Yeah, but I think the mistake a lot of dudes make sometimes is the opposite of what you're saying, is they do too much. Yeah. So it's there's a balance. All right, top three mistakes that women make in the bedroom that you've experienced. Thinking that just because they have a vagina that, that that's sufficient enough. I, I hate feeling like a woman's like, well, you know, I'm gonna let you have sex with me. No, I'm sorry, be an active participant. Call them starfish. <laughs> <laughs> Graveyard bitches. You know, princesses, there's a lot of bitches. other things. Yeah, you get the deal. If you don't like performing oral sex, don't. Don't, because it's it's I'm not I'm not gonna enjoy it. It's not gonna be good. Don't kiss at it. Don't blow at it. Personally, oral sex is a huge component of a relationship. It's and you know what it is. I think a lot of it has to do with oral sex is about the your partner's pleasure over your own, really, and that that feels nice. I want I want to know that it's not solely just about our pleasure or your pleasure, that you want to do something just for me. Now I'm gonna force a tip on you because I, we had this conversation loosely today when you first came in about hand jobs. Yeah, just, just don't, just don't. Most men that you meet don't want a hand job. It's just like, we, we're gonna, we do it all the time to ourselves. We want a different experience. Um, just, unless the guy's like, yeah, I really like hand jobs, like, <laughs> I don't know any guys like, yeah, I totally got a great hand job, at least since like high school. Women, women, I don't think truly understand how sensitive that area is too. So when they do it, a lot of times it hurts. Mm. 
There's reason there's whole self-defense courses built around how to hit a guy in a dick, you know? Because it's sensitive. But the and, nutsack is sensitive, not the actual shaft. Oh, all of it doesn't feel good, but yeah, the nuts are the focal point. But mm -hmm. if So a, you mean if they're like coming down like... Oh God, it's just like, oh, no, like you're bringing back memories. Right. You're bringing back, <laughs> I'm having flashbacks. Just like... Do you like no. that, Chris? Mm -mm. If a guy says, this is just sex, there's nothing more, um, afterwards, don't expect because you've had sex with him that all of a sudden his mind is gonna change. Don't have that mindset. Because I'll tell you what, you're not really gonna be able to hook a guy with sex. You might think that you can, it might last for a little while or whatever. After you've had sex a bunch of times with the same person, you know, that newness wears off, it's, it's a little less exciting, so you yourself have to be engaged with that person mentally. So don't get into bed with someone who said they just wanna have sex with you thinking that they're gonna change and then getting mad at them when it doesn't because you're gonna find yourself heartbroken nine times out of 10. Sex is to Chris as what is to what? As video games are to children. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I wanna do all the time, but it's fun to do, to be able to just pick up and go do it but it's not my sole focus in life. Thank you so much, Chris, for all the experience. I know where these hands have been now, which makes this <laughs> a little bit more uncomfortable. Yeah? Okay, Where's thank it? You. Where's it been? It's... Oh, no, that was her hand. That was her hand. <laughs> Ow, please stop. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. Don't you go anywhere yet. Please subscribe to Chris's videos. As you can tell, he makes awesome content every single day. If there are any YouTubers or personalities that you would love to see a sex talk with, write it in the comment section below. In return, I would love it if you guys liked, commented, and if you learned anything from this video, share it with your friends and family so they too can get an education.